Hello, welcome to Engineering Mechanics. Uh, here we're going to work another problem where we're going to be trying to split our vector into its components in two different directions. So what we have is some kind of a triangular metal bracket. And so we have a hole in there and you can imagine a rope pulling in the FV direction and maybe a rope pulling in the FU direction. So we're pulling this direction with some force FV and we're pulling in this direction with some force FU, but we don't actually know what those forces are. All we're given is that the resultant of those two forces acts in this direction with 600 pounds of force. So we're given the resultant. We're also given a ton of angles here. So we know, for instance, the angle between the resultant and FU is 29. We know the angle between the resultant and the y-axis is 28. And we know the angle between FV and the y-axis is 37. And what we're trying to find is what is FU and what is FV. So again, we're given some information, especially we're given some information about the resultant. And we're asked, what must FU and FV be such that when they add together, they give us the resultant on the board, which is 600 pounds. All right. Now, normally I would specifically tell you that we're trying to find the magnitude and the direction of FU and FV, but really in this problem, all we care about is the magnitude of FU and FV. And the reason is because, believe it or not, everything in the problem gives you the direction of FU and FV. So for instance, FV, clearly we know the direction of FV already because we're told that it's 37 degrees from the vertical. And we know that y is 90 degrees from x, so I could clearly find an angle to the x-axis for this vector, so I already know its direction implicitly in the drawing. Also, fu, I know that it's 29 degrees to the resultant and another 28 degrees to the vertical, so really I already know the angle to the vertical, and since I know there's 90 degrees here, I clearly already know, even though it's not in the drawing, I already know what the angle of FU is to the x-axis. So usually with vectors, we're trying to find the magnitude, which is the length of the thing, or the strength of it, and the direction. And usually we express the direction in relation to the x-axis. But for both of these vectors, FU and V, we already know the direction to the x-axis. Even though it's not quite given to you, you know, uh, spoon-fed to you, it's really already on the drawing. So when we're in this problem trying to find out what these vectors must be, we're really only going to end up caring about the magnitude because the direction's already locked down. So again, even though we're trying to find FU and V, we're trying to basically split this vector into components in the FV and FU directions. You can kind of think of it as the resultant is going this way. How should I split these, this resultant into these two different directions such that their sum will give me this guy? That's what we call decomposing a vector or decomposition of a vector or finding the vector components in those directions. So you can kind of think of it as finding this vector in the U direction and in the V direction, splitting it up 